What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with yours truly, Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. On this Project Maker Minute, I want to talk a little bit more about parents and coaches. And I'll tell you one thing, if I had my druthers, I would trust a parent. You see, a parent has their child's best interest more than any, generally, more than any coach could could possibly have. And a parent will live and die for their kid. The parent is going to believe in a kid. A parent, that's their, the kid is their own flesh and blood. And so the loyalty is unwavering. The passion is always there for their child. Now, there are some examples of bad apples, uh, you know, stories about parents who maybe did the wrong thing. But in general, if I had a choice, if I, if I had to make a, a decision on whom to trust, I would go with a parent over a coach any day. Now, that's not to malign coaches. There are some coaches who you can trust. There are some coaches who may be able to give your child the passion, the energy, the motivation, the inspiration, the loyalty that you might be able to give as a parent. But in general, you know, in many respects, nobody's going to do that for your kid except you, you as the parent. So I have great respect for parents. And I think that at the end of the day, a lot of times the parents are critical and key to helping to achieve big success for a kid, whether that's a prodigy or a top college player or a professional player. So I'm a big, big proponent, believer in the, the importance of parents. And I believe that in my own personal experience as a, as, as I raise my children. Now, related to this as a corollary, I would say be very careful about trusting a coach or coaches or an academy even. The person who has your best interest is you and your family, parents and the children. They, sh they have the best interest of their kid in general, as I mentioned, there were some exceptions, but I would never hand over the reins and trust the coach, except for very, very rare circumstances. So for me, most of the time, the parents are in the good corner, and and most of the time, the coaches cannot be trusted. The coaches have their own agendas. They may have money on the mind. They may have fame or, um, you know, fortune or fame or um, competing agendas. And for me, I much rather trust a parent than a coach. And that being said, if you are a parent and I would advise you very, very strongly not to give over the reins of your child's coaching to one person or, or a team of coaches. Don't trust the coaches. Don't trust one, especially one person, especially if you got a girl. I, if you followed the news, you've seen many unfortunate examples of female athletes being taken advantage of being, um, being heard by predators, you know, predator coaches out there. It's happened in gymnastics, in other sports. It's happened a lot in tennis. So I have three girls myself. There's no way in hell, hell's going to freeze over when I, when I let a coach, you know, take my kids solo to a tournament uh, overnight or for a weekend or what, even let them be alone in the same training room, let alone let them be alone on the tennis court doing private lessons uh, week in after week out without me being there. So there's no way a coach is going to tell me, Hey dad, I need some alone time with your daughter. You go, you get out of here. You, you leave the, the room or the court or the club or whatever, you know, absolutely no way. So just based on a player welfare point of view, there's absolutely no way a parent can be pushed out of the picture, especially if you have a girl and I have three girls. So Th that's just not going to happen. So I would encourage you to take the same position, protect your girls, protect your boys. Doesn't matter, boy or girl. There are predators out there. There are a lot of bad coaches out there. Got to be careful. And it's not just the really evil things that are in the news sometimes that happens when kids get taken advantage of. It's also, you know, s more subtle things. Like, can you just trust the coach to, to be given their 100%, to be given your kid the, the most passion and energy, all the things that we talked about at the beginning that makes parents, you know, so trustworthy. Now, 
I'm sure there are going to be coaches out there flipping around and say, oh, there's some bad parents here, examples, bad parents there. But I think in general, I'm talking as a, as general principles, as a parent, you trust yourself with your kid, that with, with, you know, the outcome of what's going to happen with your kid. You got to trust yourself and your own family and don't look to trust a coach, except for those very rare circumstances where the coach is a gem. You've known them for years. They've been vetted. You know, I'd just be very, very cautious and paranoid about those kind of trusting relationships, especially one-on-one and especially with girls. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Prodigy Maker Minute. Maybe that's some controversial stuff, but if you like what I'm saying, listen to my big show, The Prodigy Maker Show. It's available on every podcasting platform, and it's a live show on this YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. See you on the next program.